How's it guys? Okay, so today I'm just going to show you how to make a very basic daisy chain. Referring to the daisy chain, this is what it looks like. So daisy chain just be, would just be a few squirts in a line, each with a hook on. And we normally pull this specifically to catch bonitos, um, especially in the Cape Town waters, where this is probably one of the most effective lures and rigs to catch bonnies on. So we've got the bonny cop coming up in a couple of um, days so literally preparing for that at the moment so what I use is just a couple of different size squids and then I also have two versions of a daisy chain one with a lure where I only use this little katonko candy with it and the other one without adding any lure where it's simply a straightforward daisy chain with just a couple of squids okay so what I try to do is I normally try and find what the fish feed on are they feeding on a daisy? Are they feeding on hard lures? If I get two fish on my hard lure without anything striking on my daisy, then I typically just put straight lures on. If I find that they're only eating on the squids, then I remove the hard lure and I only pull daisy chains. There's certain advantages using them. I have found fishing with a daisy chain, sometimes you'll actually hook up to a fish and whilst fighting that fish, your second line will sink due to the fact that there's no floats on the daisy. And quite often then a bonnie would actually grab that sinking line as well whilst it's sinking and you tend to double up like that quite frequently. Okay, so getting into it, what I typically use is I use 0.7 main line when using this. I normally take off a nice long piece. You can always cut off, but I can't add. So I normally cut that off. Okay, I only use one knot as well. I prefer using a snail knot and I prefer my biggest one to be in the front and then some smaller lures towards the back of that okay so also try mixing the colors up slightly so for this one i'll go for a white lure i'll go for that one i'll add some pink to it and then i think for this one i will actually make the rig so that i can actually add a katonko candy as well so because i'm adding a katonko candy um, what i will do is i will leave a long line towards the bottom and that is where my katonko candy will be attached then on this one the line is simply through it i take the hook i go four times around the shank and then always enter from the back of the eye of the hook and then pull that tight and that's on it's the quickest knot you can do and you can also tie steel this way okay so once that's on i put a bead in then after the bead I string my lure that will come in the back, which will be my pink one. Okay. Make sure that bead goes inside of it. And then simply pull it tight. And there we go, guys. The first one's on. And this line is obviously for the katonko candy. And then to add your second hook, this would also again be a small skirt that I'm adding there. So again, I give it about 20 or so centimeters room, maybe 30. And then just another three, four times around the shank. And then through the eye, pull it tight. Hook is on. Take a bead. Take the lure. Go. simply slide it over into the lure and there you have it now you've got two on there now I'll put a bigger hook on for the bigger lure again from the back of the eye and again you only need to give it about 20 or 30 centimeters couple of times around the shank from the back to the front pull it tight there we go just add another bead here get 
at the Lua. Almost all the way down. Roll on the top. So it's just something to add as well. Some guys like making different knots where they actually don't tie the hook to the line itself. I personally believe that every knot is a weak spot on the line, so I try and make less knots. The less knots, the less weak spots there are, so therefore the less chance of breaking off. Especially in Cape Town, we tend to have seals that constantly grab the line. Um, we tend to battle with them quite a bit. Then you can just add your Katonko candy to the last one. And again, I'll just use a normal figure of eight. And there you have it. Here's a daisy. So at the back, I've got my little katonko candy, and then I've got my squirts. So going onto the water, you just make sure that they're all hanging over the hooks. Pop that into the water and box your uncle.